Right, welcome back to a part three breakfast uh, sergeant cook off, basically. How's everyone doing? So it is night time. It's a Saturday night time scenario that's going on. Okay. Now. Now, let's get back to the cook. So this is going to be quite quick now. So we've got our... Now, for obviously, for fried bread, all you want is just plain white toast, right? I'm going to do two. Well, I'm going to do one to start with, and we'll see how we go. I've got them off camera. You know, well, we, can, we all know what white bread looks like. There we are, white bread. There we go. Everyone loves it. Right, so... Let's start to get into it. Now I'm going to turn the grill up, right? We need to start grating our cheese, right? We are doing cheese grating. So I've gone for, let's get rid of that for a minute. I've gone for two aspects of cheese. Um, obviously, because we are obviously trying to sort the special plan out um, desperately, We've just got the cheese remaining that we've got, which is luckily some Red Leicester. Now, I like Red Leicester, and it's a good cheese. Now, we don't want to go too ridiculous. I've got to keep an eye on the cheese factor, right? Right, okay, updates. Now, we have had no word from Double Agent One Footed uh, 14, right? We know what's gone on. He's gone down a crevasse. Um, we, all we heard was the last murmuring sections of the uh, accident, right? So the Sherpa and Double Agent uh, 114 has fell down the crevasse, 200 foot drop onto an icy ledge. Luckily, uh, via the sound, as they can uh, correspond, because obviously the Sherpa's radio is still on for at least like five minutes, right? Or five to six to ten minutes, something like that. I don't know, they're not too sure on the timeline. Um, but he, luckily, he left his radio as he fell on. We heard the impact of him, uh, and then we heard his final breath as the Sherpa expelled out onto the 200 foot icy ledge. Um, the uh, swimming armbands that he brought along, and apparently, that was also slightly saved his life was a, um, a blow up till done. Uh, we don't know. I'm not, I have no comment on that. Apparently, it was something to do with uh, back of it, uh, 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 the part of his spine. Um, apparently, he had a bit of a spine disorder, as, and he was a Sherpa. Don't know. So, there we go. So, that's the cheese. We've probably got slightly too much, but we're going to mix that in very gently, like gently. We're not going too mental. Now you might notice when I grate cheese, I always go for the bigger grates of cheese. And that is because I like some grated cheese. Right, right, okay, so this is what we're gonna do. This is gonna be quite strategic now. So I need a special type of knife, right? We need a special type of knife. I do have to keep an eye on beanage. Um, I've added some extra double, double extra Michelin star status stuff going in now, and we are going for it. That's going up. I might actually put in another uh, tomato in there, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not, I want to see some, I want a contrast of tomatoes in my me, in me beans. So I like to have some that are semi cooked down and some that are still quite fresh. So, but we're going to quarter them and then we're going to quarter them again so they've got a chance. So it's going to be a very tomato beany situation. It should be nice. There will be a couple of other little things that I'm going to put in now. Just to give it a spice, but the beans have not sung their song just yet. So, much, much, much like me, really. Right, okay, so, right, we've got the pan for the eggs, right? Now, this is going to be literally like a military operation. I need the beans up. Now, remember, when we do this, it has to be done quick. And it has to be done with... Um, it has to be done with a lot of... Uh, we're, just doing, we're just going to do it and we're going to shut up. Right, here we go. Right, I'm going, I'm going to turn this off. I'm turning it right down now. Right, here we go. I'm just going to 
limey. I think this pan might be even too big for this to go back. We'll see what happens. We are going to see what happens. Alright, so this is my egg pie. Um, I think we might have got the amount of eggs slightly mistaken. So we need, we need, we need more eggs. Right, we need more eggs. We are on an egg emergency. We are going to have to go through some eggage and quite quickly actually because if things start to um, not cooperate in the right way Right, that was an off screen fuck there going on so There we go, we have got eggage now we need to do a very important thing now Is I want to get them eggs all splayed round Right, so we want to try and stop them from cooking individually, right? That's a very important aspect. The, the, the beans are looking amazing. So we're going to turn them right off. I've had something come up on here. Go away. Right. Right, okay. Right, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start to place just at random intervals the different options of the breakfast, right? It doesn't really matter. You want to obviously create a little pattern. Let's be more artistic than that. Right, got the bacon. So we've got the hash browns, the sausage, we've got the black pudding. That's just going to kick in now. So it's like a pie. So but just egg based and um, yeah so right let's give it a sea salt let's give it a bit of black pepper okay and now we're going to go for the cheese right this is where we can't go too too ridiculous with the cheese because it we it is going to be cheesy, but it's not going to be like that's it. Like, you want a little bit of flavour of cheese, but we're not going like OTT. Right, so that can go straight off. Um, we're going to whack it under the grill now. Okay, so that's under the grill, and that grill is on full whack. Right, that's on full whack. Now, um, what we're going to serve this up in. Um, is I don't know. I'm gonna have to go for a oh fuck's sake. Right, so I have to go for a big plate. Okay, right. So we've got it under the grill. Right, I want another plate to place these on because I want something. I want some things to be kept separate. All right, but I'm not gonna waste that cheese. So. That can go in there for a minute. Right, that can just go there. We'll wash that up. Yeah, so, right, so that's the update on uh, Michelin from Double Asian 14. Uh, he is still with us, so anyway, so they, they had five minutes of um, radio communication with him, um, and they heard him landing on. Um, and they heard him landing on. Uh, the Sherpa, so the Sherpa's basically saved his life, really. Um, yeah, so the Sherpa saved his, his life, basically. Um, now, that's all we've heard, okay. Now, updates with Double Agent 115. Now, that is where it can get a bit controversy. So, we've all known, we've all heard the story and the uh, interrogation of the scenario. That double O eight and fourteen wanted to go hang gliding, but he wasn't quite happy. I've had to back the the oil right up. It really isn't doing its thing. I put it in far too. Yeah, it's really not doing its. It's not doing its job. It's, it really isn't. All right, that's. I've got the oil whacked up. The I don't know what to say. Um, oh, we have actually semi-fucked up as well, because I've completely forgotten about the fucking uh, 
I completely forgot about the mushrooms and the fucking tomatoes. I've just dropped a mushy on the floor. So I've just dropped a mushy on the floor, but it doesn't really matter because all floors are good. My floor is clean as fuck. You know what I mean? I am literally hygiene expert number one. So that's fine, that can go back under there. Actually, we're gonna give it a little bit of a grill for a little few seconds. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. I'm a bit disappointed with this. Um, we're gonna see. It is definitely not doing its thing. It's not living up to its fucking reputation. All right. So that needs to, now it's starting to do some action. Now we've got some serious fucking shit going on. But I'm gonna whack the beans over here. They can really start to get amplified, uh, right? Now we've got stuff going in the beans, okay? So I want a little bit of, um, I'm going a little bit, uh, bit spicy. So I want a little bit of smoked paprika. And that's gonna be mainly for color, okay? So I do need some, I do need some spiciness going on in there, right? And also, I think for a nice little touch, right, we're going to put a little bit of margarine, right, only a little bit, just a little flaking, right. And that's what that's going to do, is it's just going to give it a zing, yeah. It's going to give it a zing past its prime, all right. Now, zing, it's like the, um, we've got a uh, Tyson Fury. I've got to put a little bit of oregano in there as well, right? Only a little touch, only a tiny bit. Tiny bit, just a little bit, right? Yeah, it's like the Tyson, um, uh, Jake Paul apparently is fighting Tyson, if you're, uh, uh, Mike Tyson. Um, now I personally, right, let's keep an eye on this. We are out of control now. Right, that's off. That is off. We've now got, now got a situation going on. I've got to concentrate on the tomatoes and I've got to concentrate on the on the bread. Right. Right, let's have a look at what we've got. Yeah, so we've got a Tyson, we've got a Jake Paul uh, trying to fight uh, Mike Tyson, which I think is just ridiculous to be honest with you. You know, uh, Mike Tyson is a ledge. Oh, it's actually, oh, it's nice and loose. It's nice and loose. Mm. Right, that is nice and loose. I'll tell you what we're gonna do, as it's nice and loose, is I wanna slip it onto the plate as is, if I can. While that, can I do that? I'm just gonna do it. There it goes. And there we go. And that's all she wrote. And that's all she wrote. Yeah, so anyway, you know, Mike, uh, Yes, uh, Jake Paul's fight, it was to fight Mike Tyson. I think it's a terrible fucking idea. I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, he is a legend, like, let leave legends be, mate. Do you know what I mean? Much like me, I'm a, le a legend. Like, leave me be as well. You know, I might get have a moment of irritability, but it doesn't mean that I'm a complete arsehole. I've just got issues, right? That's all it is. So... I think that's wonderful. I think that's the staff. Right. Now, let's more importantly. Oh shit. So I just pulled the other half of me fucking spatula off there. But I need to keep an eye on the actual fried bread itself. Oh come on, don't be a knob. Right, okay, so let's get this all. Let's get this all fumbled out. Like the beans, they're going to be served in a bowl. That hasn't got any shit in it. Right, okay. Right, let's serve the beans up. over the beans I think so I'll say just a little just a little sprinkling why not I mean why not I know I'll keep an eye on that on that bread am I right, okay I'm just going 
give it a strain off. And that is your bread put is your fried bread. Okay, let's turn everything off. Right, I'm going to sort this out and I'll see you in a second. Right, okay, so I've just done a quickly another piece of fried bread. It's a bit warm. Okay, cool. Right, so we've got a nice load of fried bread there now. That is amazing, that is cool. Sea salt over there. Black pepper. That's nice. Right, okay, so let's have a gander and see what we've got. Right, let's clear everything down, get it all presentable, and I think we may be ready. Right, hold on to your bum cheeks, it's going to get moving. Right, okay, so let's start off with the fried, perfectly fried bread. Right, so we've got the fried bread going on now. Oh, why is that not focusing? I don't know why I say why is the camera not focusing. The the phone is like from 2018, so it is extremely old. So, you know, there we go. That's probably why or it needs cleaning. Um, there we go. Let's see. It probably does actually need cleaning. I might just do that for a second. I do apologise if I ruin anyone's entertainment situation. That doesn't mean nah. Right, okay, there's the beans. So we've got tomato cheesy beans. That's uh, mature cheddar red, red lesser. And on to the main event. This is the egg pie. So that is a little bit annoying. It's not, it's not quite focusing very good. So, oh, that is a shit, isn't it? What is that? Right, is there actually something on the lens? Oh, I don't know. Fuck knows. Right, anyway, so that's the egg pie. So you've got your black pudding in there. Uh, we got the, the tomatoes. So it literally is like six or seven eggs. Right, so we're going to cut them. Um, I'll see what I'm going to do for a second. Hang on a minute. Right, there we go. So I cleaned my uh, camera up a little bit. It was a little bit, had some a bit of grease on it or something. I don't know. Well, it just weren't. I mean, it's a bit better. There we go. Right, so basically, it's just an egg with a pile of stuff on it. It's mental. But it is a lush breakfast. I like it. So we're going to cut into the eggs now. So we're going to go. Uh, right, they're not that. Right, they're, well, one of them is. Oh, that's who eat. Uh, some of them aren't, some of them are, that one's semi, that one's not, and that one isn't. So we've got a few eggs that are, you know, a bit oozy, but not too much. But it's not really about that. It's just showing you one of my breakfasts that I would have on a regular basis before going into work. So anyway, my last side of few shows, that is the end of part three. I'll... Have everyone a nice weekend. I'll munch all this up later. And that's a winner winner. And I'll see you lot in the next one. Egg pie breakfast dinner. Fucking love it. And there we go. Spicy. Right, see you later. Be good.